welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a customer vendor ledger web app you if you are a, our old subscriber so you will know we already created a customer ledger web app in that ledger you can only select a, a customer and you can only add the transactions but now this is a upgraded version in this version we added add vendor features and we added show all vendors on the front end so let's uh, have a look uh, what changes made in this version of our customer ledger web app so you can see here i can select the our customer from the drop down list and i can also this perform the search and data so example if i select this customer remise one so you can see here this vendor have this data have this transactions with my business with me so if i select this so you can see here this customer have this data with me so uh, if i select the ahmed the third vendor so you can see here this vendor have only these transactions with my business and if i want to now if i want to add a transactions with this customer i simply click on this add transaction click on the 20 day, uh, date you will be select as you want and the bill is the credit the payment is the debit so i am going to for make for payment and payment you can see here the 3300 already so 1800 is the bill payment particular is sale so you can enter your uh, custom desired particular when you click on the add you will see ledger entry successfully added so now what it happens it's a debit payment is a debit because you make a payment of 1800 so old balance is 3300 now you will make a payment of 1800 now remaining is 1500 okay so when you again click on the add transactions so you will see the 1500 balance is shown here so if you select any other vendor any other customer so you will see her that person's balances you can see here okay so if i want to add a new customer for example i have a new vendor and i want to eat, add them in our database for example muhammad ali and vendor number is three two two four zero eight three five four five okay so when i click on the add vendor the vendor is successfully added in our databases so you can see here when i click on the muhammad ali so no transactions found for this vendor and uh, if i want to add a transactions for this vendor i simply click on add transaction click on the date and select the particular date and bill and uh, 15000 uh 15000 and particular is uh item sale okay so when i click on the add you will see ledger successfully added and you can see the data with this uh vendor this vendor uh do a business with me i can record them easily okay so if i want to click on show all vendors so it will show me the all vendors with their balances ba balances okay so if you want to click on the print so you can easily print the vendors okay so here you can also print the transactions so same like this is our upgraded version how to separate set up uh, when you open the link you will just uh, make a click on file and click on make a copy uh, give him a name uh, example youtube demo uh, ledger okay youtube demo ledger and you can simply select a place where you want to save it from the my fold and click on make a copy when you click on make a copy so it will take a time and create a copy in your google drive after copying successfully you will see this kind of interference in your front screen so you just need to click on the extensions click on the app script so when you click on the app script the code is pre-applied in our app script so you simply click on the deploy click on the new deployment when you click on the new deployment you will select here anyone and click on the deploy after deploying it will ask a permission you will need to authorize access for this web app for accessing you the web app okay 
so when i click on the authorized access uh choose your email by default it will automatically show you and uh, here you will see go to customer ledger and click on allow when you click on the allow it will grant you will guarantee the access to your web app and after access guaranteed you will get this kind of url and this url is will be used to access your web app so here you can see here our data is successfully fetched and working successfully to so simply click on add transactions uh, bill payment uh, 500 uh, remaining uh, 4530 already and gg and when you click on the add you will see the ledger is successfully added so so this is our web app which have a many functionalities uh, from the previous versions you can see here when i refresh my uh, data it will automatically comes here and it because bill is a credit so it will add 500 in that item hope you like our video please subscribe to our channel press the bell icon please in the comments give me your reviews about our videos and also leave the next videos ideas so i can make them for you okay sir take care